Hello, my name is NY Chiu. I'm the general manager of Shell's manufacturing site here in Jurong Island, Singapore. We're standing right here in the middle of our Shell's latest site that is built and constructed and started up in November 2009. Uh, this is the uh, Mono Italian Glyco plant. It's a world scale manufacturing site and it produces 750,000 tons of MBG every year. Down in Pula Bukum, that's our Shell's refinery in Singapore and it's connected by submarine pipeline from Pula Bukum refinery through another island back into the plant here in, in, the, uh, in Shell Jurong Island. Uh, what we manufacture here in a MAC plant is mono ethylene glycol. This is the feedstock that goes into making a lot of our everyday products. It includes the polyester fibers that we go into most of our shirts, the uh, chemicals that goes into the pet bottles that we have uh, used every day in the drinking bottles. Uh, the capacity of the plant here you can see is actually 750,000 tons a year. And this is actually a world scale plant. Put that in context, you can actually make 6.7 billion shirts out of our annual production. That's actually more than the uh, population of the world today. Having said that, let me just give a quick run through of how we manufacture the uh, mono ethylene glycol here in the plant. It starts off with our feedstock from our Pukum refinery, the ethylene cracker, via the submarine pipeline, it comes into here. The uh, ethylene comes into the plant, it is combined with oxygen to form ethylene oxide. And ethylene oxide is manufactured in this part of the plant, and it's then com combined with water in together to form our mono ethyl ethylene glycol that is here before it's actually uh, transported out of the site. Let me describe something that's different here that is different from the Pula Bukum refinery as well as the other sites in uh, Shell Drew, uh, in Shell Singapore. Uh, one of the major differences is the use of a closed loop cooling water system where we use cooling towers to actually cool down the uh, water that goes around the site to actually cool down the processes. In other plants, we typically use either sea water or we use river water or other brackish water. With this process, we are able to reduce our energy usage and at the same time, uh, utilize something that is important resource for the world, that's water. The other important aspect of the design in the MAC plant here is we actually utilize a Omega technology. This is the first in the shell world where we actually use the new technology to be able to help us extract more uh, in terms of the yield of the product. Uh, typical plants uh, using the older technology can only produce 1.5 to 1.6 tons of MEG per ton of uh, ethylene per input. But using Omega technology, we're able to bring up the figure to 1.9 tons of MEG produced per ton of ethylene that is actually used as a feedstock. We believe this is a breakthrough technology we believe this is the best way that we can actually use to help us at the same time besides improving the yield we can actually improve also the energy usage and I'm looking forward and confident that moving forward we will be able to help Shell secure a more competitive advantage in the market and uh, able to deliver quality products to our customers at the right price right quantity right quality at the moment they need it